In this video, we will outline the substantive prohibitions under Cambodia's Law of Competition, which was promulgated October 5th, 2021. The law covers the three basic pillars of competition law enforcement, being anti-competitive business combinations, abuse of dominant market position, and anti-competitive agreements. Dealing with anti-competitive agreements, we start with the definition of what is an agreement under the law on competition. An agreement is defined to be any form of contract, agreement, arrangement, or understanding between persons, regardless of whether it is written, verbal, or implied, and may also include concerted practices with the object of or effect of influencing the conduct of one or more persons, or disclosing a course of conduct which a person has decided to adopt or is contemplating adopting in a market. With this broad definition of what is an agreement, the law distinguishes between horizontal and vertical agreements in its treatment. Horizontal agreements, or agreements between competitors, are dealt with on a per se basis, with agreements fixing, controlling, or maintaining prices, preventing, restricting, or limiting quantity, type, or development of goods and services, agreements on allocating geographic areas or customers among competitors, or bid rigging in private procurement are all prohibited, again, on a per se basis. With respect to vertical agreements, minimum resale price maintenance or conditions of this nature set out by sellers are also prohibited on a per se basis. Other vertical agreements prohibited under the law and competition are only prohibited where they have the object or effect of significantly preventing, restricting, or distorting competition. Prohibiting agreements include requiring a purchaser to resell purchased goods or services only within a defined geographic area, requiring a purchaser to resell purchased goods or services only to specified customers or specified categories of customers, requiring a purchaser to purchase all or nearly all of its requirements exclusively from the seller, preventing a seller from selling goods or services to another purchaser, or requiring a purchaser to purchase unrelated goods or services in addition to the goods or services that the purchaser wants to purchase. With respect to dominant market position, this is defined under the law of competition as a situation in which a person has the power to act in a market significantly without any constraint from other competitors. Persons that are considered to have dominant market position are prohibited from requiring or inducing a customer or supplier to not deal with a competitor, refusing to supply goods or services to a competitor, selling goods or services on the condition the purchaser is required to purchase other goods or services separately which are unrelated to the object of the contract, selling goods or services below the cost of production, or refusing to give a competitor access to an essential facility. These agreements are only prohibited where they have the object or effect of significantly preventing, restricting, or distorting competition. Lastly, the law on competition addresses anti-competitive business combinations. Business combinations are defined as the acquisition of the right of control or voting rights to the purchases of shares or assets by one person from any other person, or combination of two or more persons to acquire joint ownership of an existing legal person or a new legal person. Business combinations that significantly restrict, prevent, or distort competition in a market are prohibited. The details of Cambodia's merger regime, including notification obligations, will be set out by later subdecree.